So guys and welcome back to some final solutions and today we're talking about call of duty modern warfare 2 and its latest updates now yes ladies and gentlemen every time call of duty modern warfare 2 brings out updates the game intends to break more and more and more and they kind of fuck up the game more and more and more which is just fucking fantastic but in any way ladies and gentlemen this is an fps boost guide for people out there that really really needs it right now at this very moment and i'm just going to show you what you're going to need to do to get the best performance out of this game through windows through its advanced options through the game settings through every single thing that you can go through to make your game run at its best that it can right so the first thing i highly recommend you go ahead and do is open up battle.net like this if you are playing the game through battle.net i highly recommend you go ahead and do this you go to the little gear icon over here and you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to app here at the top i highly recommend you change this to exit battle.net completely on game launch which says on game launch Make sure it says exit Battle.net completely so Battle.net doesn't run in the background using resources like your RAM and your CPU. It doesn't do anything to your GPU, but I highly recommend you go ahead and put this on exit Battle.net completely. Scroll all the way down and make sure this is unchecked, which is use browser hardware acceleration. You do not need this. When you enable this and intends the game put to crash or it intends the game to run even worse than what it already is. So I highly recommend you go ahead and uncheck this box over here. Once you're done with that, it might ask you to restart if you have this checked. If you don't have this checked, just say done and you should be good to go. Right, the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. Okay, so I highly recommend you go ahead and check for the latest drivers for your graphics card. At this very moment for NVIDIA users, it will be 528.02. It's the latest drivers for NVIDIA graphics cards like me. If you're an AMD user, go ahead and download the latest drivers. It's very important that you have the latest driver installed on your machine right now because Call of Duty is actually keeping up with the driver updates for GPUs. Before, they couldn't keep up, so we had to roll back our drivers and use older drivers to make the game run better right now at this very moment the latest drivers are the best to use for call of duty modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 at this very moment all right let's jump into the next step all right so the next step i highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to the search button over here and just type in settings just like this and press enter and then go to update and security i highly recommend that you go ahead and check for updates on your windows machine it doesn't matter if it is windows 10 windows 11 Whatever Windows you're using, I highly recommend you keep your Windows up to date. It's very important for you to go ahead and do this so your GPU is up to date and your machine is up to date. Please go ahead and do this. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to the home page and go to privacy over here and scroll all the way down to where it says background apps. Now, a lot of people might have this on like this. Now, what this is going to do, if it's on, it's going to use resources like your RAM and your CPU. You do not want that because if you have this on, on, it's going to use resources like your RAM and your CPU. Now I highly recommend all you need to do is just turn it off like this and then all of these things are going to be turned off and not running in the background. Right, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to the home button over here and then go to gaming. The first thing I highly recommend you do is go to Xbox Game Bar, turn this off if you don't use it. If you use it, you can go ahead and tweak it yourself. Captures, I highly recommend you just copy my settings over here you should be good to go game mode i highly recommend that you go ahead and turn this on at this very moment with game mode on right now in 2023 with the latest updates of call of duty i highly recommend you go ahead and turn this on now something i do want to point out is this over here graphics settings now before the whole update for call of duty its latest updates you had to turn this off to be able to have a better gameplay experience inside this game. Now, if you turn this on, okay, you're going to have to restart your computer. I just wanted to make sure I show you guys this. You're going to need to restart your computer after applying all of these settings I'm going to show you today. You're going to need to restart your computer, but don't restart it now. Watch my video finish and then you restart your computer because you're going to need to restart it in any ways after all these settings that I'm going to show you, okay? Something I highly recommend you go ahead and do now at this very moment is go over here where it says browse. And then from here, you're going to go to where your Call of Duty is installed, just like this. Go to Call of Duty. You're going to go inside here, scroll all the way down to where it says EXE, click on it and say add. And you're also going to go to browse 
and then go one back basically so just one back over here the top folder and go to call of duty launcher.exe and add them both inside here and change them both to options high performance and let it use your gpu and say save and then you're going to do the exact same thing with the hq version and go to high performance and then say save right let's jump into the next step all right ladies and gentlemen so the next step i highly recommend you go ahead and do is just right click on your desktop and open up nvidia control panel if you are an nvidia user like me and then all you're going to need to do is go to adjust image settings with preview and then go to use the advanced 3d image settings and then where it says take me there if you click on this it's basically just going to take you here now the reason why i don't do program settings and select a certain game is because with these settings over here that i have inside here actually helps for other games as well not just modern warfare 2. so your modern warfare 2 would run well your warzone 2 would run well and your other games as well so all you're going to need to do is just follow all of these make exactly the same as mine all of these make it the exact same as mine you could just pause the video if you want to to copy these settings you need to have it the exact same as mine to have a smoother gameplay experience this plays a very big role inside your game itself trust me it does and not just on call of duty actually on every other game that you're going to be playing and this is why i'm using global settings go ahead and change it to 100 gigs instead of default driver put it on 100 gigs prefer maximum performance your gpu auto off on allow high performance on on off off and then these are virtual realities you do not need those at all off off on low latency mode okay this is something i want to just point out to people out there depending on what they have a lot of people might not have on they might just have ultra then go ahead and put it on ultra what this option does is it tries to let your gpu and your cpu talk to one another much quicker so depending on the type of machine you are running is going to depend on if you put it on on or on ultra okay so i highly recommend you go ahead and play around with this so you, this is the only option you can play around with like put it on go play your game if it's not performing as well then put it on ultra and go play your game and see which one performs the best mine performs the best currently on on so i leave mine on on all right dsr factors off CUDA GPUs, I highly recommend you just go ahead and click on this and then go ahead and select your GPU and then off, off application controlled, on, off and application controlled. These are the best and then off, off. These are the best settings for the global settings inside your NVIDIA control panel that you can use right now at this very moment. Please go ahead and change these settings right now to have the better to have a better gameplay experience inside your game all right once you are done with this you're going to go to config surround and physics you're going to obviously just say yes over here to apply these settings and you're going to go to config surround and physics and you're going to select your gpu inside here you are not going to say auto select you're not going to say cpu the only reason why you would select cpu is if you have the apu unit meaning you have a cpu with a gpu built into it so you do not have a dedicated graphics card then i would recommend you to select cpu but if you have a dedicated graphics card like 95 percent of the people on the planet that's playing games go ahead and select your gpu and then just say apply here at the bottom once you're done with that you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings now no this has nothing to do with performance but it has to do with how the game looks inside the game itself whatever map you are playing how your guns look i highly recommend that you go ahead and copy all of these settings that i have over here it will make your game look much much better and it will pop now in the game itself you can also change the digital vibrance and stuff like that to make the game look even better so change this and then from here, we're going to go into the game and change the quality inside there as well to make the game run even better and look even better. Trust me. I mean, in the beginning of my video, you saw that my enemies are pink and they're much easier to notice. Now, that is something that I highly recommend you go ahead and change. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Right, ladies and gentlemen, something that's very important is this over here. It plays a very big role inside your game. So this plays a very, very big role inside your game itself. Trust me, it does. You'll get about 20 to 30 FPS more increase just by changing this alone. So you're going to go to the file explorer over here and then go to your documents, go to Call of Duty, go to players, and you're going to go to this file over here that says options3.cod22. Now I know mine says CST, don't worry. That's just because I have this over here that says file name extensions. As you can see, there goes away. So don't worry about that because a lot of people has asked me, why do I have CST at the end of my thing over here? And they don't. Okay, that's the reason why. 
you're going to double click on this and open this up with any notepad or any editing software and you're going to put this on your screen and you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says render a work account right here now this plays a very big role inside your game because you can get an increase of 15 20 25 to 30 to even 35 fps more increase by halving the cores of your cpu now before you start doing things okay i need to put something out there i have an 8 core 8 thread cpu it's a 9700k so half of 8 is 4 okay now that's for intel users now for a lot of people they don't know what to put inside here because they're not exactly sure what they should use because ryzen works different and intel works different now ladies and gentlemen if you want to know more in-depth videos and want to see more in-depth videos become a member on my youtube channel the highest level member will get access to my discord and we can talk inside my discord about your problems I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. Now, something I want to go ahead and do is actually make a notepad to show you guys how this actually works. So this is for Ryzen users, obviously AMD CPUs. All you need to do is follow these steps. So if you have a four core machine, six, eight, 12, or 16, that is what you're going to put over here. This is for Intel users. Now, obviously, I have an 8-core machine over here, so I go ahead and put 4 there. So you can just pause this video, copy which type of CPU you have, how many cores you have, and paste it inside your half of that cores. So this is half. This is what you're going to put do for Ryzen, and this is what you're going to do for Intel. Okay? And you should be good to go, and trust me, you will get an FPS increase when you do this option over here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the game. Let me show you what you're going to need to do inside the game itself to get a better gameplay experience overall and have a smooth gameplay experience. Let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in my game right now. I'm doing about 138 to 139 FPS just in the just this menu here itself. Now, I will be doing more FPS if I don't record. If I don't record, I do more FPS. I do about 146, 147 FPS. Yeah, my OBS is quite... Uh, yeah, it takes a lot of FPS. They just went to 139. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just by you changing half your cores to half your cores in the advanced options will actually increase your FPS and make you have a smoother gameplay experience. But you need to change these things in the game as well to have a better gameplay experience as well. So you're going to go to this little gear icon over here and go to graphics, go to quality and obviously have this at custom because we're going to start changing things inside here. So it will automatically go to custom. I highly recommend you go ahead and leave this at 100%. It doesn't matter if you're running this game at 1080p, 1440p or 4K. Go ahead and leave it at 100%. If you start taking it down, your game's going to look like that and not like this. So your game's going to look like dog shit. So don't change this down leave it at 100 percent now a lot of people have a big debate on what to put this on over here for modern warfare 2 they have a big debate now the best i highly recommend you go ahead and choose is nvidia dlss on balanced because what balance will do is it will balance out your performance and your quality it will balance it out itself and i highly recommend you go ahead and change this to your own personal preference because this depends on the monitor you're currently running so if it's a display a monitor a gaming monitor a tv whatever the case might be that you're playing your game on is going to depend on what you're going to put the sharpness on 80 is my sweet spot and i just play on 80 myself but it's your own personal preference what you're going to do here okay you can go ahead and put this on performance if you are running not the best of nvidia cards that has nvidia dlss if you have a really bad i don't think a lot of people have a really bad rtx graphics card so i don't recommend using ultra performance because what it's going to do is your game's going to look like shit but your game will run really well you don't want your game to run well and look like fucking i don't know like you fucking playing underwater basically don't don't do that you're just going to strain your eyes don't do that i recommend performance or on balanced if you are using nvidia dlss now if you don't use nvidia dlss or you don't have it i highly recommend you go ahead and put this on fidelity fx cache and then go ahead and change the strength on this depending on the display that you are currently running or your gaming monitor your tv whatever the case might be mine's on 60 percent. this is my sweet spot my own personal sweet spot for me okay 
anti-analyzing. I have this at Filmic SMAA T2 times. Now what you can go ahead and do is to get more performance out of your game or more FPS is go ahead and change it to SMAA T2 times instead of Filmic SMAA. Now the reason why I have this on Filmic is because my game actually does look a little bit better with jagged edges because my game actually looks like this instead of like that. If you don't really care about how this looks, then you can go ahead and put this on this and you will get more performance out of your game, especially if you're running a lower end GPU. Go ahead and put it on SMAA T2 times. I highly recommend you go ahead and put anti-analyzing on either ultra quality on high or on high quality. If you are running anything low end, like a budget PC, go to normal. Don't put this on low, put it at normal. Even if you are running a low end to a budget gaming graphics card. If you're running anything higher than that, high or ultra quality. This you're going to put all the way up to 90% if you have anything higher than a 20 series graphics card and higher. On the AMD side, obviously, in the newer generations with much VRAM, like 6 gigs, 8 gigs, 12 gigs, 24 gigs, go ahead and put it at 90%. If you're running anything lower than that, like a budget gaming graphics card, you're going to put this down to about 70%. I do recommend 70 as a sweet spot for older generation graphics cards. I have quite, not the best of GPUs, but it runs really well at 90% with my RTX 2060 OC. Texture resolution, you can keep this at normal, okay? Now, if you're running a budget graphics card, go ahead and put this at low. Do not put this at very low. You are going to tear out your own eyes or you're going to bleach your own eyes of how bad the quality looks. So put this at low. Okay, if you're running anything better than that, like a higher generation graphics card, put this at normal. You do not need this to be at high at all. As you can see, it actually starts eating more VRAM and you do not need that at all. It's just going to make you have less FPS inside the game. So leave it at normal or on low. This, my own personal preference, I put this on high. I put this on high, this on high, because my game actually runs well with my machine. With my current setup that I'm running, these three options I have on high and my game looks really, really good. Now, if you want more performance out of your game, put it at normal, put this one at low, and then put this one at low as well. If you want more performance out of your game and you don't care about how the game looks itself. Short, always, low, always, very low, always. Bullet Impact Express has no difference between FPS. If you put this on or off, you will not decrease FPS or increase FPS by putting it off or on. So just leave it on. All right. This you're going to completely turn off, low, off. Now, a lot of people is going to ask me like, yo, dude, you don't have anything there. Like you don't have minimum, you don't have maximum. For some reason, my game completely just took that away and I've left it like that. And for some reason, it actually works better. Now, people are obviously going to ask me in the comments, how the hell did you get it away? And how did you get it that you don't have to choose something? Now, I don't know how I did that. Now, so let me explain something to you. So if you have 16 gigs of RAM or higher, like 32 gigs, go ahead and put this on max. If you have 16 gigs and lower, like let's say 8 gigs, which most people don't have, right? Then I suggest minimum. But if you have 16 go ahead and put this on minimum you will see an increase in your game as well i don't know how i did this maybe yours is like that as well i, I don't i honestly don't know how i did this it's just there's nothing there there's absolutely fuck all there this is nothing okay so i just leave it like that so i don't care about it right so i'm gonna skip that option but i do recommend putting this on minimum if you have a really good machine maximum minimum 16 gigs and lower end machines okay this completely off, you do not need this because what this is going to do is it's going to download your textures on the fly through your internet. If you turn this on and you go over here and put this all the way up, it will download your textures on the fly. But you need a really fast internet connection to do this. So a one gig line and higher. I can go ahead and do this, but I don't do this because I actually don't need this. So I go ahead and turn this off completely and I go to show less. This add low, this add low, off. You need this off. You do not need this at all. Honestly, you fucking don't. Low, low, low. Spot cache. High. Please, for the love of fuck, put this on high. Do not put it at ultra. Put it at high. This has a very big role with NVIDIA cards that I showed you earlier on in the video control panel. By putting it at 100 gigs of shader cache. Okay? As you can see, it says spot cache. That says shader cache in your NVIDIA control panel. 
This, by putting it at high, is going to make your game run much better. You won't get lag spikes or, you know, these dips in your game by jumping out of the plane and you get this little spike. You won't get that anymore by putting this on high and having it in the video control panel on 100 gigs in the shader cache, right? This at low, this on off, you do not need these things. An honest, honest to God, you do not need these things, okay? Off, low, off. On plus boost is the best right now at this very moment with the latest updates, with the latest graphics card drivers. On plus boost just works better. I don't know why, it just does. Just trust me on this. Go ahead and put this on on plus boost. This you're going to turn off. This you're going to turn off. And this you're going to turn off. You do not need any of these because it's a multiplayer game. Why would you want depth of field on, world motion blur on, weapon motion blur on? Why would you want it on? If it was a single player game, I would go ahead and tell you to put this on. It's a multiplayer game. Put it off. Film grain all the way to 0 0.00. If you turn this up and start turning it up, you are game is going to look like an olden day TV and that you're playing it on an olden day TV. So for the love of fuck, go ahead and turn this all the way down. Right, once you're done with that, you're going to apply these settings and then go to view over here. I'm just going to say apply. Go to view. This is your own personal preference. I can't tell you what to do inside here. I honestly can't tell you what to do inside here. This is my own personal preference, so you can go ahead and copy these settings. But, like I said, it's your own personal preference on what you're going to do inside over here. Right? So next thing you're going to need to do is go to interface and you're going to go to color customization. Put this on filter 2. This will help with your depth in the game. So the, the gamma correction, all that, it will make your game look really, really nice. Now in the beginning of the video, you saw that my enemies are pink. Okay? Like a really nice, sharp pink. So put this on filter 2. Put this on both. 100%. 100%. Put this at custom. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says enemy. You're going to click on the pink. Have it on pink over here saturation all the way up and then the brightness all the way up and then you're going to apply this custom color and apply it and then your enemies will be bright fucking pink you will not miss them they are very hard to miss your enemies will be really hard to miss you will you will always see them trust me this does work ladies and gentlemen after you're done with all of these settings you're going to need to restart your computer completely not just the game your computer as well so quit out the game go onto your desktop then from there restart your computer to apply every single thing i just showed you today in this video it will apply go back into your game if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new year and become a member on my youtube channel if you would like to see exclusive videos the highest level members on my youtube channel as members will get access to my Discord, so if you're having really bad problems, you are supporting me per month, and I can support you anytime you'd li like me to help you if I'm not busy. Go ahead and join my membership. As always, ladies and gentlemen, hope this helped you, and as always, peace out.